get a little organized. Uh, hi, hi guys. Let me do the chat. Yeah, give me a sec. Hey, Jello Sketch. Hey, Red Dead. Will Pi be lurking with audio only, trying to finish something in The Sims? That's valid. That's valid. I'm glad you could join the stream. Welcome. It's as always probably going to be a casual painting stream. I mean, when is it not a casual stream with me? Today we're doing an acrylic painting because Christian was like, you never paint with acrylics. So, a challenge accepted. Oh, I just popped in to see the awesome sketch. Oh, thank you. Do I need to just make camera cheese? All right. Yeah. Um, I had a friend send me like a limited color palette because I never know what to paint. There's like, oh, there's so many ideas on what to paint. So friends like, here, have a, have a limited color palette. And I'm like, um, you know, we have so many things saved to our Pinterest, might as well use some. So this one I think fit the limited color palette. Which is that one? Yeah, so they sent me, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Stop it. Sort of this one. It's hard to see, uh, especially, god damn it. Sorry, just ignore this. So like there's a really dark purple, some pinks, yellows. I thought that sort of yellow kind of matched the, this prepped canvas I had. I had prepped it honestly for an oil painting the other day because I really like this technique where it's like you prep it with like an acrylic fluorescent color. This is actually like a fluorescent yellow, like highlighter yellow. Um, I also like the fluorescent orange. I haven't prepped any canvases like that. But you prep your canvas with acrylic, and then you go over it with like oil or acrylic, and then the fluorescence will show through and like add some warmth and unify the whole piece. So that's what we're doing. Ooh, I got a. This is a new um, uh, acrylic set that I'm breaking in today as well. I got um, Utrecht. Totally redid their so the Blick brand totally redid their whole packaging design. So. Um, yeah, I thought I really like I'm a CMYK girly uh, and this is CMYK the color theory set So that's what we're gonna be using uh, and it came with like a little color Mixing tool, so that'll be interesting. I never really used this to be honest I might need it cuz you know, I'm gonna have to make limited color palette from these guys Which I decided the color palettes decidedly not CMYK I'm gonna break out the cursed scissors because this thing's being a bitch to open. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got. I mean, I have, I have chat here. Let me show you. I have like a little, um, a color palette here, just hanging that I never use. Sorry. Uh, I never use it. I should, probably. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, this one is like you can make your own. Okay, I don't have... I see, I see. Neat. And it comes with, like, how to mix things. Okay, okay. That's interesting. I will look at this later. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. Ah, oh, and then there's black, which I never freaking use. Gray? They added gray to this palette. It did not... This set did not used to come with gray, uh, which I probably might not use because I like to mix my own blacks and grays, you know? Uh, usually the quickest way to mix it is like a burnt umber uh, and like an ultramarine blue. And that gets you a really lovely dark sort of black. I also am, if I had to pick a gray, I really, really like Payne's gray, that sort of blue undertone sort of thing. I'm just gonna use... I just found like a bunch of these random brushes in a drawer because I have watercolor brushes, I have oil brushes. I am a little loath to combine the oil and the acrylic brushes. Usually you shouldn't shouldn't uh, be using a short handle brushes for acrylic or oil, um, but I'm gonna because you can't, you can because all right you can break the rules. Uh, but these guys were like sitting in a box and I never used them. They're probably not the best brushes I have, but they'll, they'll do, they'll do. So I probably should invest in like a separate brush set for uh, acrylic painting, but it's fine, it's fine. Don't, don't need to right now. Okay, let me mix up some colors. Uh, actually, let me see. Hmm. 
Hmm, I should have probably put this on the computer so I can reference it, but oh well. I did not. We're just gonna mix them up. Okay, so the magenta is pretty much the magenta is on here, and that's pretty much what we need. And then there's a bright yellow, which works. Um, we need to make a purple. It's purple again, red and blue. A yellow. A mix sort of there's like a peat like a hmm like a tan color we're gonna mix I need more white this kind of isn't it the smallest hint of magenta probably Okay, that's too much, but oh well. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, that's way, that's way too much. Need, hmm. More yellow and more white, more yellow to be honest. We just have a ton of, of this one color we're gonna mix, yay. I see why the oil painters mix with a palette knife. I should probably start doing that with acrylic as well. Do I, will I, who knows? Really, only have one palette knife. Do I need? I should have a few cut palette knives because I got a bunch before I really knew what I was doing or what they were used for. I needed more white, not more yellow. Okay, love that. Okay, maybe I needed a little more yellow as well, but like, you know, it's fine. Yeah, that's the color. I'll like spray everything with water so it doesn't dry out. Okay, maybe like a little bit more yellow. Little bit more yellow. The nice thing about digital is I can literally just like eye drop tool it, but no, with painting, I have to mix it myself. The curses of being a traditional painter. I know no bounds. Good God, just get off the brush. Oh well. Um, I think I need blue. I need to make blue. No, not blue. I need to make purple. What am I on about? Uh, that's gonna be tricky. The nice thing, and also the not nice thing about CMYK is you can mix every color, but you have to mix every color if you have the limited, like, palette that's just three colors. Like, ugh, I have to, have to do things. It's cringe. Um, let me pull up the reference picture. Come on, Pinterest. Don't fail me. I mean, I have it, like, saved to my phone, but also, I want to be able to, like, scroll between the two, like, the palette and the reference. Okay, I'm just, this, this goes here. Also, I traced this out, sort of, using, I have, like, a, what is it, Neo Lucida? I got this thing for Christmas that's basically, like, a weird prism thing that, um, you set it up, you look through it, and it sort of transfers whatever you s whatever you see to the canvas, which is pretty neat. I like that. So, yeah, that's how the lines are so like precise. It's not tracing because I still used observation. I just used some ancient trickery that the old Renaissance masters used to. That's why we shrink wrap colors we like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or stay wet palette. That could work too. Um. Shallow skip could play, albeit tricky. 
Is it really tracing if it's your own work? For yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I mean, tracing like a ghost image that's projected through prisms, but like, yeah, 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 not really, yes, no. Listen, the Renaissance masters do it, I can do it too, it's fine. If Da Vinci did it, we're good. We're good. Or Rembrandt, I don't freaking remember who did it, who's did it. Uh, the old geezers that everyone likes, they did it, so it's fine. Right, I needed to mix purple. That's what I'm doing. I forgot. Ooh, that is... Mm, I don't know how I feel about this purple. Purple. Maybe like a smidge more green? Not green, um, yellow? It's close, but it's a bit too dull for my liking. I'm just gonna scoop up some yellow and see what happens. That might make brown. I don't know. I might have... Aired. Ooh, color theory. Frick. Red. That's what is missing. It's too blue. Maybe? Wait, I have, I have, I need more from the tube. I literally have it on my palette. It's also the problem with mixing your own paints is I always end up mixing way too much. Ooh, it's too red. That's better. Yeah, that's good enough. Purple. I need some white. That's why the old masters did it. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Just plus it's good to work technical skills that way. Yeah, that's true, very true. Mm. Spray everything, make it not not die or dry both I should probably again do color uh, not color palettes palette knives I need to use those for acrylic painting too because they're just easy to like scrape off the extra paint little bit of a lot of bit of blue and yellow and white for this one I think it's like a not a mint green a little give you the HSL numbers, but I don't know it'll, if that'll do anything. Nish. That's too green. It needs to be more blue. Actually, maybe if I add some white, it'll be better. Too much white. I added too much white. Like a smidge more blue, maybe? Smidge. Like a smidge more yellow, too. More than a smidgen. Um, yeah, that's close enough. That's good enough. That's more or less what we're doing. God, I do miss palettes. I'm using palette paper because I can't find my old acrylic palette. I do miss you can just being, scrape things off the edge, but no, not here. Okay, I have purple, red, yellow, that's time to make a black, and then I think I have everything. Just a few. I kind of like a black, not really, kind of, sort of. A little more like a warm gray. Not really got going, but... Yeah. Ah, too much red. Magenta, not red technically, but like you, you know what I mean. And now it's too purple. More blue. Oh, 
I mean, I might cheat and add some black, but like, it's cheating. Also, I don't, I don't know how to affect this color palette. It might deaden it too much for my taste. Just, I literally just mixed a purple. Okay. We're cheating. Uh, we're gonna use a little bit of black. And we'll see what happens. It might... Just a smidge. Just a little bit. There are no hard and fast rules with art. Except that you have to make it. I need to make it warmer. Yellow. Maybe a smidge more blue. It's still too purple. Okay, that's more than a smidge. It's like a glob of blue, but like, eh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Just welcome my train of thought when it comes to mixing colors. It's just constant panic of, ah, too much, too little, bit more of this, bit more of that. Also, it is like new paints that I'm not used to using. I'm gonna break up it. Palette knife, frick this. I'm sick of this. Yeah. Delve into my oil painting um, kit. Oh, I can smell the oil. Goodness. Oh, wait. Has my camera always been like this? Oh, frick. Sorry, guys. I'll just have them all out. scoop it up with the palette knife and put it in one place hopefully more or less I do admit, admit, I do miss the wells of a palette. I think I'm gonna use the palette next, like a proper with little holes in it palette next time. But whatever, this is good enough for now. Just wipe off the dang thing. Should scoop up the other stuff too. It's good and dry out. Just spray it just with more water. That, that'll have to do. That'll be good enough. Okay, we've got m our basics more or less I mean that one yellow is kind of like tad tad bluish so, we'll see 
see if I can't make it. Yeah, that's it. It's almost like a green. Maybe I don't use dirty brushes to mix stuff because it will contaminate whatever you're drawing. But I think in this case it's fine. Alright, we have the color palette. Now we can paint. Now we can focus on painting. Check something real quick. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just pulled this random person off the internet, so we'll see how it turns out. Kind of had no real plans other than the face, limited palette. We'll see what happens. like that color choice. Okay, that, that yellow got a bit too dark, too quick. More yellow. That yellow is a lot darker in value than I thought it would be. Luckily, I primed this with acrylic, so I can just erase it. And it was thoughtless with that. Alright. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. start over. That's the nice thing about acrylics. You can just start over. Just paint over your mistakes and no problem. And it'll dry really fast too, so we're fine. I realize now I think the cheeks should be like more the color of the canvas because they are like the lightest part of the piece. Uh, so yeah. I just kind of, I should really do dark to light with this one just because there is already like that background color. Um, yeah. Mm. Damn, why is this one side just slightly too dark? It's annoying. Stop it. No, well, that's what layers are for. Just cover it up. And it is like a slightly transparent paint, so you probably, I do have to do some layers. Um. 
Okay, I think, I think. What do I think? I don't know. Um, right, I can, I can do that. Again, this is all like an experiment. I'm just messing around with like that limited color palette. I need a smaller brush. I don't like this brush. Can I achieve that with something like this? I don't know. Ah, maybe this one. I think this one. Also, because I think there's like a lot of like red under like the eyes and such, so. That's what we'll do. It's mostly like the lips that have this lovely, nice reddish tone. Well, magenta tone. It's fine. So we're just gonna go in and, and mess around with that. See kind of a little bit of red here. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm so used to like digital drawing now. It's like, ah, just undo, right? But no, not for you. No control Z in here. Gotta commit. have absolutely phantom controlled seat. Yeah, yeah. I think we all have at this point. Like I've, I've started doing a lot more um, Procreate just because it's comfy. It's on the couch. I don't have to break out any paints or anything. You know, like we're making like that. Um, it's just comfy to do just Procreate on the couch. I don't have to move. I can still watch TV with Christian, you know. Um, but I've definitely drawn so much more digital than traditional. Like I, I used to do only like traditional more or less. And now it's almost all digital, so it's it's go it's very much gotten to be a habit. So it also is weird because when I, I've started using a little bit Procreate Dreams, and they don't do they don't have any keyboard commands. It has to be like you have to tap the screen to go back, and that is kind of in Procreate. But if you have a keyboard, which I do, you can kind of ignore it. Procreate is so good as a lightweight art program. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was a little bit of a learning curve because I grew up as a Photoshop person. Like literally in high school, we, I went to a weird art high school. Um, we learned pro Photoshop and Photoshop can be pretty complicated to be honest. So I'm used to like that complicated interface layout thing. And then I go to something as simple as Procreate. I'm like, where is everything? It took me like, I think a full year or two to figure out, wait, I can do text in Procreate? I can up upload like fonts. What? Because it's not where I would think it would be. So I kind of hate. I hated Procreate. Not gonna lie at first, because it was like too simple. I'm like, where is everything? I have no idea where anything is. The hell? So I figured it out eventually. Um, you know, little little TikTok tutorials or whatever. Yeah, like, oh, did you know you could do this? I'm like, what? You can do that? Amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's not Photoshop. I do, I forgot what I missed, but there's some things that I miss with Photoshop. I'm like, ah, oh, God damn it. I also miss InDesign a little for like laying things out. I'm sure I could eventually figure out how to do it with like Procreate, but it's just kind of annoying to be honest. Um, I need a mall stick, I swear to God keep resting my hand on like a wet canvas and it's like weird. Mall stick is like those big sticks you can you can rest that the artists rest bleh. the old masters had long sticks that they would rest at the top of their canvas to rest their hands on so they wouldn't get their hands in the painting. I've been saying I would get one forever but I have not. Ah. 
know what? I'm going to put some of the background acrylic paint on my palette so I can fix things as I mess them up. Just sort of erase it. I don't like how I did that eyeball. This is gonna be very painterly for sure. Oh yeah, Photoshop is heavy on its U UI and not intuitive for just drawing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you were taught that, then it makes sense. I mean, it's like anything. If you're taught even like a language, it, it just comes natural. And anything else is like, really? You're like, what is this? What the heck? So, um, Pro or Procreate was almost like too simple and it was really hard to get into because of how simple it was. It's the same thing with the uh, Procreate Dreams. A lot of things are too simple. To be fair, it's a really basic program. They don't even have a lasso tool yet. So, at this rate, my workflow with like animations is just do everything in Procreate. And then if I need to move something, like have a camera pen or whatever, then we bring it into Procreate Dreams. But, but otherwise, it's kind of a nightmare to use. Um, it might just be that I'm learning. Learning curves are always fun have like a stick of medium size cheese. I think I got one. Somewhere. I have one just laying around somewhere, but where is it? I know I have it. I just don't know where. That is that is the catchphrase for ah frick, this apartment. One second. <sighs> the catchphrase for this apartment is oh do we have this Christian? Oh yeah. Where? Mm-hmm. No, I have it. Just, it. If you ask where, I have no idea. It just sometimes, things just spawn out of the ether sometimes. Whenst, whenst, when you need it. his ears they're a little reddish I need to add some purple And purple, because there's purple. Yeah, I, I have also been a little bit, kind of not really, learning Clip Studio Paint, and that is a lot more similar, like Photoshop UI wise. I literally got it, and then my computer died in a flood, or somewhat dead. Like it's 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 undead at this point. Like it's alive, but it's not. It's so I don't really use Clip Studio, despite having it. So I really should. Ooh, purple. Yummy. Oh, that's pretty dark. Oops. I guess because it's like just so compared to the yellow. I think I'll use, I'll cheat and use white. You know what, we're allowed, this is my thing, we're gonna be allowed to use white for any of the colors to change them. I need a more subtle purple. Just a little bit. Just a smidge. I might be too subtle, frick. Okay, I've decided I don't really like that. We're gonna go back to the OG purple. Fuck. <laughs> ah. 
A lot of experimenting, for sure. As long as I can kind of see the reference lines underneath the paint, we're good. Damn, this, this fluorescent yellow is a bit transparent, though. Oops. Oops. It's fine, I'm sure it's, it's fine. wait for that one layer to dry. It's acrylic. How long can that be? It's not like oil where I leave something to dry for a month. The nice thing about oil is I tend to forget about things. Like if, if it's out of, especially if it's out of sight, it's gone, it's forgotten. And then years later, I'll remember something. So by the time I remember an oil painting I was working on, I actually still exists. The layer is dry and I can keep working on it. So that's, that's an amazing thing. That's great. We love it. Yeah, screw it. We're, we're going to commit to the color palette we don't add maybe we don't do the white act after all maybe that was not the best idea i've decided i mean it won't be photorealistic color wise but like hey it'll it'll work as long as it works color wise we're good we're fine Aww. Yeah. Should I maybe do the skin tone first? Maybe. For the eyebrows, but it's fine. We're not gonna. We're gonna do our own thing. <laughs> This, this side is a little purple though, the, like the sides of the nose, kind of purple. So that's that's what we're gonna. It's like a weird. It's like it. Hmm. It's got purple undertones, and I guess that's what we're going with. I mean, it's looking a little darker than I like, but maybe that's just the contrast because this is such a bright yellow. Is that right? I can't tell. I, I think it's fine. I'm looking at my screen, but neither screen. Jesus Christ, this camera needs to. This camera is so freaking precarious. I'm sorry, guys. All right. I don't know. I can't tell because I have like my computer over here and the monitor just to the right of the camera and neither give me an accurate depiction of what's on the screen, which is why I don't really do digital art on my computer anymore because I, I can't tell what the colors are. It's like always like slightly too dim or too bright or whatever. No, it's, it's, I mean, it'd be fun challenge. Guess, guess what you're painting. Guess what colors. Could definitely be a fun creative little art challenge um boring as heck for my perfectionist perfectionist in me but hey maybe that's the point so to just re relinquish all control and see what happens okay this thing's doing stuff okay i don't hate it terribly not yet doing something. Which we like. We'll see where this goes. Honestly, that is my art process of just, you know, we'll try this and we'll see how it turns out. We will see how it goes. Mm, 
purple-ish. I mean, I could go with either purple or sort of pink or magenta for this section, the inner eyelid section of the eyes. I'm gonna go purple for now and see what happens. I mean, it looks more like a black or a gray. Um, oh, mm, that's still wet. Frick. Leave that section alone. Ew. Oh, right, I have skin color. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I'm gonna use it. Yeah. Might be jarring, but it's fine. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It'll just... Mm, we'll see. We'll see. try and blend a little bit out with this purple, but like, we'll see. We'll see if we can. A lot of scrubbing with the brush, to be honest, just to like blend it out, because I don't want it to be terribly opaque. Uh, again, watercolorist at heart. Want those transparent layers. Ah, that's not good. Well, I can always go back in with that. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. Maybe it'll also like balance like the urge to just like wing it and scrumble in there and to like actually put some thought into what the hell I'm doing. And not just go ham. Who's getting murdered out there? I just hear a bunch of screaming all of a sudden. The the perks of living in a vast apartment complex, guys. Random screaming. It's probably just dogs, to be honest. Uh, there is like a dog daycare. That, like the apartment's so big uh, that there's like a whole dog daycare just for all the people with dogs. That part's still wet. Frick. <laughs> I have to wait. I'm not good at waiting, chat. <laughs> No, I don't want to wait, but I have to cringe. All right, it's fine. It's fine. I'll wait. Ooh, I can put that there. No, I'm gonna use this other pink. It's pink. Let's see what happens. It's coming along. I don't hate this. Wow. Like, I, looking at the painting is kind of weird, but looking at the screen, which is my equivalent of stepping back, I'm like, oh, this doesn't suck yet. Huzzah. Let's keep it that way. Okay, I need more purple. Let's do the purples first before I, I too ham on anything. Especially like the corner side. I think this is the temple. It's like the the corners of the eyebrows that are closest to like your hairline, like not close to the inner side of the eye. That has some purple, which is interesting. Yeah, I'll commit to this shadow being purple. Frick it. Maybe. 
maybe was that a mistake no i hope that wasn't a mistake it's fine it's fine and then i can go back in more purple some of these upper lips kind of have purple in them stop it Peter also just loves to like have the screen shut off. I know this the computer's still on, but I can't see anything, and it gives me a heart attack just a little bit. Cause I'm like, no, please don't shut off. Please function just a little while longer, just please for me. I'm just waiting for this tiny corner to dry so I can work on it, but no, it does not want to dry. It's annoying. You're acrylic, you're supposed to be fast at drying, damn you. Oh well. Water. So I can just scrumble in that shading. That's what I'm calling it. That's the technical term, chat. Scrumbling. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Don't don't worry about it. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore his necklaces for now and paint over them. It's fine. Come back to that later. Might not. We'll see. Probably need to work another layer on that actually before I go in with the ripple. Should have done it too with a square brush, not a round one, but it's fine. When have I ever given forethought to anything? Okay. Foreheads too, they're so hard because it's just like one, one plane. One plane! And I have to... Look for the subtlest of variations, lest it look like one flat cardboard sheet. Which we do not want. Like, sure, I could make that a stylistic choice, but I don't want to. that purple it blends it out more. Purple. This is still not, I can't work on this one spot and it's annoying. Bruh. Let me work on it, please. Unless I'm not allowed to. 
I mean, I could, but it would mess everything up. And then, like, literally, what's the point then? What's the point? I guess I could work here on the chin a bit. Um... Could work on the chin. That, that's dry enough. We have some thought about what I'm doing, not just... I'll just squint at it and see what happens. I can work on the neck too, I'll do that as well. Damn, this this one section is my bane. Stop drying! Dry! Please! Everything else is drying at the proper rates, why won't you? I understand why a lot of artists use their fingers now. I did, I will say, there's one artist I saw online, I don't know if they were using oil or not, but they were using like their fingers for everything and I'm like, please tell me, please, please bestie, tell me you're using like safe paint. That doesn't, please tell me you're not using like cadmium paint because it was like, <laughs> you shouldn't be finger painting with cadmium bestie. I asked them, I never did get a response. Like, hey, what, what kind of paint are you using? Um, bestie? <laughs> My brother in Christ, please. What are, you t what are you using? It's like acrylics. I mean, yeah, there's cadmium acrylics, but like the odds are you're usually using not cadmium as much. Like if it's something like, uh, like a Liquitex Basics is a lot more safer. Basically, paints, anything with an AP, you're good. If it has, I think, a CL on it, Actually, let me check my paints to make sure that they are AP. Yay, they're all AP. Um, I have some oil paints that are CL. Um, not safe to use with fingers. Very dangerous to use with fingers. Actually. Mm hmm. Let me check something. Mink. Alright. Cool beans. Oh, hello. I see somebody else has joined. There's there's three people now instead of just two. Hello. No, why is my brush drying on me? This I swear, this piece of this section of painting won't dry but my brush that'll that feels like drying okay love that hey welcome endlich geschafft finally uh endlich geschafft me i know what it means in german but translating it from my english speaking chat means it finally uh, succeeded or made it all right you know what you don't need to be like you don't need me snide about it Welcome, welcome to the art stream. I just ramble and paint. We're painting a face today with acrylics, with a limited color palette, which means I can only use, let me see if I can pull up the color palette. I, I'd kind of mixed it on the palette already, but a friend sent it to me. Mm, it's hard to see on the screen. Can I up the brightness? It's up full brightness, all right. So it's like per dark purple, magenta, yellow, greenish yellow, skin tone, mint, blackish gray and that's what's on the palette today we're painting this guy so yeah and then this the summary basically we're painting this we're experimenting but this this tiny section of the painting won't dry and I, I need it to dry chat I need it to dry so I can work on it but no I have to wait this is a, a crime It doesn't like me, and that's not good. Like, please, please just let me 
hate my bestie. But no, no painting for me. Only suffering. Well, I guess that's why it's called painting. You can't have painting without pain. Yes, I know, bad pun, haha. -ha. You, you hate me for it. I actually love the premise in general to have like this limited color palette, or this limited palette. I love it so far. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't often do limited palettes and I really should. I, yeah, it's fun to do. Um, it's easier to do digitally because you just click it instead of mixing the paint. Um, with paint, I feel like it's a little bit more cheating because you can like mix the different tones together to get more tones than the limited palette. But you know, like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, his eyes are really brown, so we're just gonna give him red eyes because why not? I don't have a brown in this palette and that's gonna be close enough. Yep. Let's see. I, I like that actually. That's looking pretty fly. It's computer, stop it. If you're new to the channel, then you'll know I sometimes yell at my computer. Or you don't know. Um, that my computer just, it's a screen. It just blanks out randomly because it's literally on death's door. I think it's, it's Frankenstein right now. It's hooked up to a million and one things, I swear. I've probably put, like, my computer soul in a phylactery or something. It's a lich at this point. Like, it's undead. It's... It shouldn't be alive, but it is. And we keep it that way. We keep it that way. Because I'm not, I'm not paying Apple any more money. Because <laughs> they were mean to me. We're just gonna struggle with this because I'm really freaking stubborn. I'm stubborn and that's what we do. Mm. What have you guys been up to lately, by the way? I've been rant I've been yelling at this painting, and I haven't asked you guys how you've been today, what you're up to. How's life? I know some of you are just lurking, and that's chill. But those of you who aren't... Okay. Mm -hmm. Pink down... Mm -hmm. Not that kind of pink rip. I made a mistake. I have aired. Aired? I think that's the word for it major mistake is to err. The problem with being a kid who reads too much but had very few like people to talk to growing up, I know so many words but not how to pronounce any of them cor correctly. But like Rafa, that's not, that's not how you say the thing. Sue me. Like, I can read, but can I really, you know? Ah, it's, it's still not dry. It's still not dry. Oh my god, you're supposed to be acrylic, not oil paint. <sighs> I'm always carefully using the words without entirely knowing their meaning to seem smart. I mean, yeah, kind of. You just wing it. <sighs> That's sometimes how life goes, you know? What was I thinking? Eh? Did you ever get like you have a thought and then it's gone? It's gone. It's just deleted itself from your brain. That happened just now, live. You guys get to see it live. I mean, hey, eventually, if you use the words, eventually you'll figure out what they actually mean. Because, like, context clues, context clues. Or you, like, look it up. And, like, what does this word actually mean? You know. If you want, like, to learn a lot more fun words, like big words, SAT vocabulary. You want to look that up. I know they don't have that over in Germany, but I, they might not. Do they have something like SAT vocabulary? I don't know. Like, it's like very big words that they give you every week for a big test at the end of the year. and You got to know all the words. 
I don't know. Let me know. Because all I know is literally my one high school experience. It might not even be like an American thing. Like, it, it, was it just my school that gave us like words every week to learn? Or, or was it everyone? I have no idea. I should probably ask folks. Folks? We have like ZP10, which is similar, but for 10th grade. Okay, so that's like your big test at the end of the year. That, but if you want to look at big new words, um, there's a ton of lists online where it's like SAT vocabulary, yay! And those are some really big words that are fun to use and can fuddle people with. I think the thing that I use the most and that honestly I struggle with the most is modern slang. Thank God for, what is it, Urban Dictionary? So many times I'll be in chat with my friends and they'll be using some newfangled word. This is chat, this is why they call me grandma. And I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. What the fuck does this mean? Just on, um, you know, Urban Dictionary, which is honestly a lifesaver. I don't know what's going on half the time. I just pretend that I do, but I really don't. I don't. Half the time I don't understand the emojis used. Like, why did you use that one in particular? I don't get it. So, but yeah, we learn, we learn. That's that's the point of, of living, I suppose, is learning. You know, I don't hate where this is going. Wow. Wow. Who knew having a decent undersketch would help so much? Uh, that's what I'm blaming it on anyways. This is very painterly and I like it. Fake it you make it? Absolutely. Absolutely the name of the game. That is 100% what we're doing all the time. I mean, psychologically or psychology wise, I think it's fake it to you eventually and inevitably become it. Because if you fake it long enough, you just will become that thing. One section needs to dry, please. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. Just ignore it. Paint around it, I guess. I don't like how sharp that line is, but it's fine. We'll, we'll blend it in later, probably, maybe. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe a little? Ooh, I should need to spray my paint with water so they don't freaking dry. I will forget. Maybe. Maybe. Sure, it's fine. It's fine what I just did. Yeah, it's more pink. Scrubbing more pink. That's that's the answer to everything. It's all I've had. It's too brown. This is why you use clean paint water to mix your paints. Jeez. Jeez. Otherwise, it will just taint your paints. It's going, it's going. Except this one's done. What are you naming them? I don't know. The painting? I never really named my paintings. Uh, like, even my video titles are just kind of very bare bones descriptor. As you can probably tell from the name of this stream. Um, so that's a great question. I haven't 
I'm sure this is like an actual person. Beatrice? Are we na you wanna name this dude Beatrice? <laughs> I mean, sure, we could, I guess. Maybe, perhaps. More yellow. Yes, I know it's not gonna dry now because I just added another layer, but that's, that's fine. Still from purple, or not even purple, just gray. Like, I think it's dry enough to add the next layer. And we just wait some more. Ah, it's too dark. So, if you keep, if you wonder how do I keep my paint water separate, rinse off the paint. Kind of was the clean paint. This is the cleanest paint water. So, yay. Just one thing for sure that I do with acrylics is always, if I'm not actively... Where did that paintbrush go? If I'm not actively using that paintbrush, it goes in the water so that it doesn't dry out with the paint on it. I thought I had three brushes. Why is there only two? Stupid. A mystery. Um, I guess we'll find out later. brush and littler brush. I think it was this one. We'll chuck it in the bottom. The soup for now. Soup. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, I just have a little big mouth obsession. Beatrice is omnipresent in my brain now. Little big mouth. What is... Dare I ask what that is? <laughs> is it like a show? Yeah, let me, yeah, for sure, just touching my computer and phone with paint hands. Love that idea. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank goodness my fingers were dry. I just realized, I'm like, oh, um, oops. 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 my color eye. I need more yellow on this side. This is probably, maybe, uh, yes. The lower lid is, is coming up too much. We need to fix it. Okay, unfortunately, the paint is super transparent. Not opaque at all. Love that. That's a bit better. Bye. Ich muss gehen, leider. Wir haben... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, good night. Thanks for joining the stream. Bye. Uh, for the non-German speakers, he was saying he has to go. Uh, that it's insert time... 22? Uh, probably late. Like, 11? It's probably 11 over in Germany. Auf Wiedersehen! Uh, yeah. Rumblishan. Uh. Yeah. Do need to do the hair as well. I've been and the shirt. I've been neglecting. And hey, I can use the purple at least. Finally, maybe. Um, purple. It's a big brush for that. Because this shirt is purple. 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 Might have used too big a brush, but it's fine.
tell you this is I can't see my lines. Rub it away. It's coming along though. I don't I do not dislike it. Okay, that's that's shirt. And this section here. Um, it's interesting trying to read my own lines. Um, yeah. I'm just really quiet so I can focus on the lines because I will goof otherwise if I do not. Honestly, this is why I like having people to talk to over stream just because they can do the talking while I'm just focusing on something. Um, but everyone's busy today and cannot chat, so I don't know. Oh no, I have to entertain myself. How terrible. How horrible. Whatever will I do? Okay, that was maybe too opaque, but it's fine. opaque here. Let's do a line for the face. To outline the face. It's not terribly a mess. Really like the washes so far. Thank you. Thank you. I'm always like, I'm not much of a cell shading person, so I, I, I go back to what I know, admittedly. And yeah, sure, maybe I should try it sometime. But like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, and the washes, they they work, they work, they work, I think. I think they work. They're working for me, and that's what's important. Um, yeah, not, doesn't really look like something in my style so much, but I don't dislike it either. That's a really big, important thing, I think, for an artist, is, do I hate it? No, we are doing something right. Stop turning off randomly. Goodness. Uh, this shirt kind of has an outline-ish, maybe. We're just gonna outline that section anyways. Maybe some more opacity. Opacity, not transparent. Goodness, brush, please work with me. Uh, here. Just a smooch. A little bit dabbed. Oh, I, made, I went too far. All right. Tweak. Opaque. There we go. Fixed it. Fixed it. A little bit. Kind of ish. There. No worries, it's all about the layers. Yeah, it's about those layers. Absolutely, it is. I 
lighten this part up so I can go back in. It's, not, it's a bit lighter than I went in with. Darker here. Yeah. I'll probably blend this section out, but will I? Not really. Still wet. Never gonna dry it this way. Might have to be a two parter. I don't know. Things are drying out too much for my liking. And I also should use more green. I haven't been using any of the green blue thing. Cringe. Alright, where would I use that? Ooh, maybe the hair. Yes, we will. I think it'd be a nice, like, under color for the hair and the silver in the hair. So when I paint over it, those will show up like a little highlight because this hair isn't actually blue it's like a brown but it's fine Oh, I should put more um, skin tone there. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Maybe it was a bit too much with the, too opaque with the blue. I actually decided I want a little bit of the yellow showing through. For now. Bisschen. I mean, kleines bisschen, as say in German. section is like really dark so we can we can afford to not to not have all that um, much opacity or transparency it's fine i can speak english sometimes a little bit not really oh nabia it's like my secondish language it's like one and a half it's complicated okay chat <laughs> want to get technical it should be Dutch will I understand Dutch probably not uh, yes love those when colors peek out yeah yeah I was like looking at it. I'm like no this whole painting has been built on colors peek it through what am I doing covering it up on the fir first layer not being so opaque well, I guess it's fine in that one section but like I don't know if I'm doing that in the other section I, like block in the shadows too so I can like scrub some of the color later because mm, I didn't trace the lines for the specific braid which is a little bit why I was late I was busy tracing out the line art but I think it was worth it um, apologies I know I did say I was gonna start at 3 Eastern Standard I didn't a mix of technical issues and me losing track of time I should set an alarm like, did I? It's like, nah, I'll be fine. I don't need to set an alarm. Always do. Always, always set an alarm if you're me. No, not that. Mm -hmm. Almost dipped it into the dirty paint water, and that would not have been good. Not a 
good at all. I'm wondering if I should do this piece as like a two-parter or just finish it. Might finish it. We'll see how I'm feeling in a little bit. But like, like on the one hand, it's not finishing it. But on the other hand, I might not be in the same like artistic vibe or mindset. It might be using a different uh, technique. I don't know. Words. I guess we'll, we shall see. Hmm. I'll finish, finish it, and then see where how it looks next week. Like sleep on it, more or less. It's coming along. Feels good. I think this hair was a lot bigger than I. This section was bigger than I thought it was. Okay. Stop it, computer, jeez. You're just like, uh, it's time for a nap, right? No. Did, did I say you could turn off? No. Stop it. Uh, but this thing doesn't listen to me, does it? Nope. Yeah, I definitely need to put some skin tone in here. I forgot about that section. It's fine. And also his ear, I need to put some more paint in the, the ear on the right side of the canvas. Ah, oh, look at look at that, Chad. I keep resting my hand in the paint. Frick. Goodness, I need a mall stick. Or to, probably to make one. Make one would be realistic. Because the bougie ones, everything's too fancy online if you don't make it yourself. Use that almost black purple I have for the darks. Ah, rip. No, I forgot. I need to <laughs> um, scrumble in some of that blue first. I need to now add the teensy smidge of skin tone in here. No, not blue. Stop it. It's, 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 mm, I should have probably done the skin tone before the hair. Oh well. It's fine. don't need it to be blue. I need it to be skin tone color. Goodness. Alright, and I need to do finish up his ears. 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 Yeah, good enough. Good enough. Maybe? No, I think a little bit more of that like reddish pink in the spots that need it. Focus silence. There it is again, folks. Oh, 
This section's finally dry and I can work on it. Heck yeah. Maybe? Maybe? I think so. Time to add the Orphle. Little bit of Orphle. AKA Purple. Drawing out on me. Stop it. I know my paint just fell into all the other paints and it's covered in multiple paints. Not good. Not good. It's fine. It's fine. I'll make do. I don't like it, but it's fine. I think too, because I lost a lot of that canvas grippy texture, which has been essential for me scrubbing stuff when I covered it in another paint. It's fine. I'll just blend it with flesh tones. Call it a day. Well, not call this section, maybe. Not, we're not ending the stream just yet. Uh, I don't like it. Blending. Dang, this one section really wants to be an oil paint, doesn't it? Yeah, we're just not gonna dry, and you're gonna have to blend the frick out of us. Do you want anything to be? I think too. The problem is there's no like, the yellow's not showing through anymore. Maybe I can like fake it. I'm just adding. Really? Mm, too dark. I need some warmth. I think the problem is I, I left the purple not to dry, and I should have. I should have let it dry before I blend. That's why it's trying to blend like oil painting, because nothing was dry. And yet, still like it is, we press on. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna scrub away this whole section. Nope. Nope, we're starting over. I'm surprised that actually worked. Usually you can't do that with acrylic, but hey. 
Okay, we'll do the purple and then we'll let it dry. Jesus, we're off for learning. shadow here and here and a bit here and some more opaque purple at the very edge purple right there. While we're here, we can add some more purples into the nostrils. The nostrils. Alright, um, and some in the lips, because it's kind of like acting like a black without actually using a black. Transparent. No, that's not transparent. Come on, that's not transparent in the slightest. Not at all. Okay, now, maybe, we can let it dry a little bit without overworking it. I'd say as I continue to overwork it. Dry brushing, yay! Is this section of skin I need to fill in as well? Okay. Why don't we let this section dry, even though it's so tempting. So tempting to work on it, we won't. We won't, we promise. Will I keep that promise? No promises. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Overall, though, I do like, except this section. I like where it's going. This section needs to be more yellow. We will add some yellow back in. Yeah. I'll just wait. We'll wait for the sec. I keep wanting to work on that section so badly, but I know if I do, it won't. It won't do what I want it to. It will betray me. We don't need any betrayals today. I mean, it's not really a betrayal because I know exactly what it's gonna do if I do the paint I want it to do. But like, it still feels like a betrayal when the paint doesn't do what you want. Blend into that yellow a little bit. This section is being weird. Alright, good enough. I forgot about this section of hair. Okay. Oops. Oops. Probably outline these like these little silver 
things in his hair. I should probably outline those. Add some glue into his eyebrows for no reason. Cause it's in his hair, so we might as well. Cause dynamism. Uh, okay, it's just me, but right now he looks like a live-action Zaro from One Priest with the Dread. I, I don't know who this guy is. Um, it's this guy. I don't know if he if he is somebody, but I just liked how the face looked. So I was like, I'm gonna draw this random guy from the internet. If you guys know who he is, uh, I just like the way he's looking at the camera. So that's why. That's why we chose to draw. It could be, might be. Is it? I just thought it was some some person, some random person. Um, oh god! But if I don't finish it now, I'm still thinking like, do I finish it now? Do I not? don't finish it now i have to mix everything again and that's annoying i don't wanna well, i guess i have to finish it today gotta the art gods decreed it at least get to like a decent enough point i can justifiably kind of call it done Kind of, that kind of works. It's, it's true. A lot of dry brushing, goodness. More dry brushing than I was expecting. And not dry brushing. Which fine. Nah, I just, in this face, he looks like Zara because of the bluish green going on now. It's supposed to be brown. I know it's supposed to be brown, but still. Yeah, it could be, it could be. Um, I haven't really watched One Piece, so I don't know. It's just a guy. I think his lip needs to be more drawn out. I don't know why it's doing that. It's too short. Okay, that's not purple. Oh, that's instantly more better. More better. I don't think that's proper grammar, but do I care? Not really. really indeed. Alright. Line here. Right. Three. Not there. Goodness. The slightest bit of a purple line, very faint, here on this side of his face. Oh, we can't touch it anymore. Maybe a little bit in his 
fear for contra- He has also some rings in his ears that I have been neglecting. Um, also here. Which we will just... We can lighten those. This, we're using acrylic. We can, we can go straight to the darks. It's fine. There's also like little, little designs. Or if I need to, we kind of just, we can just gesture in. Designs in the metal. Apply them and we're fine. Okay. All right, we're gonna go and start putting in the serious darks into his hair now and pray that it turns out okay. going, it's going. It's going. Hi Christian, I'm streaming. <laughs> like it? You didn't even look at it. Oh, that's just zoomed up? Would you like it? Yeah, take a look. It's a person. <laughs> That's not abstract. Yeah, no, I decided to not do abstract today. Who's that? I don't know. Some guy. Why? Because he looked cool. I'm doing a limited palette thing. Oh, okay. Chap, say hi to Christian. <laughs> Oil? Uh, acrylic. All oh, right, you did say we were going to... I did say I was going to do acrylic today, so we're doing acrylic today. Do you need any medium or retarder? I'm good. Actually, I don't want retarder. It's quite the opposite. Why? I want it to dry really fast. Why? <laughs> so I can scrub in the next layer. But then you can't blend. I don't... I'm blending just fine. Are you, though? Chad, he's bullying me! <laughs> Not really. He's fine. I was gonna say, if you're gonna bully, I... I'm just saying, if no, you I need know. any blender... I'm fine, I don't need any blending, I don't need any medium. We go in this, we use me, we use paint like men, no medium. Okay, so... As what is it saying, we die like men? Forget. Person who's oozing testosterone here. If you need any of my many, many, many wedding agents or flow... Improvers. Thank you. I, I will consider it. Perhaps in another stream, I will experiment with uh, medium. Because obviously they will not affect the, the palette, since you're limited in that sense. Mm -hmm. You will not be violating the rules of your... I won't. I wouldn't. Yeah. You're right. Parameters. I like where this is going thus far, and I haven't been using mediums, so we're going to keep at it. It's okay. E. It looks very good, actually. Th I know, right? That's what it I'm saying. exceedingly... I know. It's like, I'm surprised. The only thing is, um, when you pick it up, will the perspective be different? Yeah, it's good enough. It's fine. Okay. I traced it. All right, good, good, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I mean, from the camera, with the camera's looking at it top down. The perspective looks fine. That's true. That's true. That helps you, um... Yeah, I'm looking mostly here when I'm, like, checking my work. Exactly. So, I'm gonna spray my freaking palette. Bit wet. Excellent. Bruh. <laughs> what are you brawing at? Why are you using that as a wet palette? Because it's palette paper. Oh. 
I'm here to look at the. Maybe I can show the cover. Can't see palette. Palette paper. I have smaller palette paper, and that's gray. But I'm like, eh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I'm just, I needed something bigger. My <coughs> palette paper I have is either this or like a really small one. Here's a smaller one for oil painting, because I don't need as much paint for oil painting. Why are you using one instead of medium? Look at chat, he's at me. Really? I'm, I'm just saying you have gallons I can, I can of... also use water. I'm used to water. I know how water works. But this is not watercolor. I know, it's acrylic, but you can use it kind of like watercolor. Christian, there are no rules in art, shush. I know. I'm surprised. Yep. Aw, very sweet. Where was that? Now it's just finding the shapes. Defining the lights and the darks, that's what we're doing. My arm is still still inundated with paint, but it's fine. This is why I ought to get a mall stick. Dark. Oh well. Just walking in the hair. Yeah, in a way that makes sense. His hair is interesting. It's like all braids and things. And thread. It's coming along. It's coming along though. I don't, I don't dislike it. Okay. It's really just like partitioning the lights and the darks. See what happens. Also like there's really like towards the roots there's very thin strands and only a little bit of the skin is poking through. So I need to make sure I imply those strands but don't completely lose. I think I did okay here. I maybe a bit more thinner strands. A little bit, because it's like just so thick. But it's kinda hard to do. We'll do our best. That's all we can do. going. I think I need a, this direction of this hair needs to be more. And I think this is too dark, but whatever, it's fine. We'll just, it's good enough. 
this section is gonna be fun. Use the lightest of touches to get those like little like little hairs in. And then we can go heavier once we've applied these. Oops. Oh, that's the wrong color of purple. It's the other one. Frick. Okay. Please, that's too runny. going. I feel like I'm just really winging this hair because it's like really crunchy little textures here uh, and I don't feel like sitting here all day doing all the crunchy little textures so we're just gonna pretend that it's not crunchy little texture and go in with like strands of hair it's fine it's fine it's my painting I do what I want It's just blocking in little little shapes for the crunchy bits. It's like really like fuzzy kind of. There's like no clear braids. They're more like dreads. Dreads, dreads are fun to draw though. I'm not gonna lie. guys been watching any new shows though lately uh i know lately i've been i've been finally catching up on star wars rebels i know it's been like kind of a decade i don't know if it's actually been a decade it's been at least half a decade since the show came out i think like it came, it was running when i was in high school 
Um, and I've also been watching Delicious in Dungeon, or Dungeon Meishi. That is really good. I recommend it. If you're not watching it, you should watch it. Uh, what else do I have here? Okay, that section's there. Um, it's very fun. The, especially the, the Dungeon Meishi. The, it's like a cooking anime, but also fantasy, and that's fun. Mmm, strands of hair, yummy. I'm feeling like I kind of goofed this section. It's fine, I'm sure I can paint over it and fix it. Probably. Maybe. Potentially. I gave it one strand more than he's supposed to have, which is fine, probably. I can use I can use more of the green to go back in <laughs> highlight a little bit little bit a little bit uh, what are we adding here check something real quick. I might I might call it quits soon. We'll see. Let me check. This might be one of those where, like, we come back to it. Uh, we will see. I just feel like there's- I might be overworking it, and it's getting to that part of the stream where I just go really quiet, which is usually a good sign that I should just take a break, come back to it later. Um, it will be annoying. I have to remix all these paints. This sucks. I don't wanna. Why can't they just stay good like oil paint? Oh well. Maybe just make a stay wet palette, to be honest? I probably should. Ooh, I could add a little bit of blue for the highlights of the shirt. That could be fun. Honestly, though, I feel I'm getting feeling a little listless. I think we are at a decent stopping point soon, so I think we're just gonna call it a day for now. Um, maybe, potentially, good enough, right? Come back to it. <sighs> Come out pretty all right, though. I I like how this has been going. I don't dislike it. I wonder if I can make... Nope, that's maybe a mistake. 
should like just do a little bit of color in the eyes, in, like the whites, but not much. So I think I should keep that mostly yellow. I'll fix the eye and then we will call it a day and we'll probably catch up on this next time we'll fix it next time or we'll finish it a little bit next time um Alrighty, yeah, I think we're gonna call it quits. Thanks, guys, for coming to the stream. I really like how this has been turning out. Um, yeah. Thanks for coming to the stream, everyone. I've had, it was fun painting and hanging. I'll see you guys next week. Take care now.